Yes, this must be something new in Hollywood. A personal shopper. That must be something new in Hollywood. Because, you know what I'm saying? Me, I wouldn't even... Tr the only people I trust with my credit card information, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Is somebody that's close to me. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's close to me. If I have a s personal shopper... And I have to give that personal shopper my credit card. It would best believe I know that person. Best believe I grew up with that person. We played basketball back in elementary school together. That's how much I know that person. So a personal shopper that you can give your credit card to. And you don't know this person. Mr. Um, Kevin Hart. I mean, even when I was down in Georgia and I had my restaurant, Handbone Soul Food, over there in Gwinnett County, you know what I'm saying? And I was spending millions. If I gave you my credit card information, gave you my credit card number to, to go shopping for me, you best believe I knew who you was. And I'm just being real. I'm just speaking real facts here. The only people that had my credit card, it was either me, 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 or me. Anybody other than me was my uh, accountant, my, my CPA, my accounting firm, the one that does my taxes, the one that does my payroll, the one that does, you know what I'm saying, all of the dibby and the dabbering. That is the only other person besides me, me, and me that had my credit card information. Other than that, the only people that I, tr I, I um, trust with giving my credit card information is me, me. And me again. Mother, father, kids. That's about it. Nobody else. Oh, you know, in media, my immediate family also. So, what? Who is this, Mr. Kevin Hart? Who is Mr. Dylan Sire, Mr. Kevin Hart? How well do you know him, Mr. Kevin Hart, how well? You know what I'm saying? I mean, is that something new? Because I don't know any other celebrity that has personal shoppers but personal Kevin Hart. This is the first time I heard of a personal shopper. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time I heard of this. And, okay... This man, I think it was back in 2000, what, what, what year was this? But this is back in 2000, what, 14, 13? Maybe before then? What year was this, Kevin Hart? And you mean to tell me your credit card company didn't notify you uh, uh, of unusual charges? They didn't notify you? You know what I'm saying? You mean to tell me you haven't received any um any credit card statements? Your your accountant if because I'm pretty sure you probably don't have, you know what I'm saying, access to your, your credit card statements. Your your accountant firm take care of all of that, right? Your CPA take care of all that. So you mean to tell me your CPA did not catch this and see this? And see all these op, out outrageous charges? Abnormal charges. Your CPA did not see this. You didn't see this. Your wife didn't see this. Who else is in charge of looking over your finances? Nobody else seen this, huh? This must be a, a separate account. This must be a separate account that you give to those booty men that you, you know what I'm saying, do booty dances with. 
This must be for them. This must be a shepherd account, huh? One million dollars? You mean to tell me you ain't missing that? Not only if you ain't missing that, your credit card company will notify you when there's um, abnormal charges being charged to your credit card. I don't care what type of credit card it is. Even if it's a black card. If it's outrageous charges and if it's abnormal charges being charged to your black card or any other card that you have. The credit card company will notify you and let you know that there is um unsuspicious suspicious charges being charged to your credit card. You understand? Know I mean, you can fool uh, people all the time, but you cannot fool me. <laughs> you cannot. So who's this? Your booty bandit? This is somebody you gave an allowance to, and now that you don't no longer deal with this booty bandit no more, now you want to, you know what I'm saying, you want to uh, um, accuse him of stealing? You want to accuse him of stealing, huh? It's a damn shame. You know what I'm saying? I'm not believing it. Secret shopper. Secret shopper. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, Kevin Hart, you you you're not dealing with a you know what I'm saying somebody who's a dull knife in the drawer. You know what I'm saying you're dealing with a sharp knife in the drawer. You're dealing with me, Pastor Michael Smith. See, you you can peddle that that lie that you've been peddling. You can peddle that to um people who haven't had it. If a person haven't had black cars before, they don't know how black cars work. If a person haven't had credit cards with, you know what I'm saying, 20 and 40 and 50 thousand dollar cash limits. If a person haven't had that, then a person don't know how it works. You see what I'm saying? But see, I had the black card. I had the card with the twenty thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar limit. I had that, so I know how those credit cards work, and it works just like the regular credit card. If there's un, if there's suspicious activity on a credit card, they notify you the same way an ordinary credit card company notifies an ordinary card holder. So. What I've, I said all that to say this. This Dylan Sire must be one of Kevin Hart's secret booty bandits that he gave an allowance to. And you know another thing? He probably canceled that card. He no longer need that card no more. So he canceled that card. See, this is this is what a lot of celebrities do, people. You know what I'm saying? They'll get the credit card, run up all these outrageous charges on it, then say that it's reported stolen. Then they won't be liable for the charges. You know what I'm saying? Then it won't go on Kevin Hart's credit. You know what I'm saying? He won't be lied before the charges because that's a stolen credit card. It will be on the person. So we see that Dylon is the fall guy for your little credit card scheme. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? You no longer, you know what I'm saying, have sexual relationships with Dylon no more. You know what I'm saying? You no longer together with Dylon no more. So you just cancel him and you cancel the card as well and you report the card stolen. That way you don't have to pay that credit card bill. The most easiest trick in the book. <laughs> Oh Lord. Anyway, this is news people. I wanna hey, hey Dylon. Dylon, you know what I'm saying? If you want to clear your name, I would love to get your side of the story. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Let me, let's conduct an interview. I would love to get your side of the story, Mr. Dylon. 
because you are more closer than Kevin Hart than his own accountant. You happen to be closer than Kevin Hart than his own wife. Because I'm pretty sure he won't even give his wife a damn credit card to go on a shopping spree. So obviously you must got more sentimental values than his own family. So being that you was that close to him for him to give you a credit card and you were not associated with an accounting firm or nothing like that. But he was, you was that close to him for him to give you a credit card to ball out. I would like to interview you. You know what I'm saying? If you are even real. If you are even real. I would like to interview you. Hit me up. Find me. Anyway. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button. Also, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR. Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.